All right, so I guess, you know, give you a quick run now, I guess. So, nine liter Cummins, uh, Freightliner chassis, M2 106, 300 horse Cummins, 860 foot pounds, um, Allison 3500 RDS trans, uh, PTO driven, so Chelsea PTO. I think they got bought out by Parker this last year. Alcoa aluminum wheels, uh, power windows, power mirrors, power door locks, all that good stuff. Uh, dual drive, so left hand and right hand drive. Right hand drive is done by uh, Fontaine Mod. Uh, cruise control, I mean every option that you can have on this thing, right? Yep. Um, all the strobes, all the lights, you got the whole light package, so it's... Uh, light bars. 52 inch light bars all the way around it, strobes all the way around it, beacon on the top of the hopper, all that good stuff. Yep. Um, touch screen PLC in the center of the console there. Uh, single touch joystick, so as soon as the PLC is fired up, turn on the PTO, hit the joystick down, you're sweeping. So pretty simple stuff there. At dual air ride seats. Uh, we actually had these ones custom wrapped black too. They normally come gray, but oh. black <laughs> black went with the truck a little bit better. So dual air ride seats, yep. air ride cab, air ride rear suspension, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, 45 gallon or so right in there. I think it's like 47 gallon hydraulic oil tank, um, externally mounted, you know, central located right here. Everything's right in your face. It's easy to see. Um, fill vent filter on the top, yep. access door for stuff on the side of the hopper here. So if you needed to pick up a chunk of tire or something like that and throw it in there, you could do that. Obviously the raised on black top, American <laughs> pavement edition, the baddest of the bad <laughs> done by brand Smith. I got to give him a little shout out yeah, here. He He's going to love it. that. He yeah. Killed it. So Paul over definitely. at brand Smith. Yeah. Guy is a guy's a monster. He so definitely killed it. He, uh, he wraps all of our trucks. Uh, real close to us, so you got to support and rep a local business. But keep on going on this thing. Full size access doors on each side of the truck, right? Hydraulic manifolds are right out in the open, so all your valving, everything is right here. All your wiring, color coded, easy to follow. Everything goes back to an electrical J box, right? Move forward a little bit. So gutter brooms, um, gutter brooms with piranha brushes. So that's another little plug that I'll put in there. A uh, real good guy, started his own company, um, started, you know, swept for years, but then ended up These building Piranha Brush. Ass. Yep. There are some diggers there, man. Yeah. Uh, so increase. The those, they're, they Stiff, dig, right? dig like crazy, yep, but um, they also extend the life of the broom immensely. They're so like wear plates. Yep. Basically. We're, we're like, one of the only systems, if not the only system. I, I know that we're the only system that does an airbag on the gutter broom, so it's very, it very fine adjustment, yep, right? And they're done by the... Uh, regulators inside the cab there. Yep. So again, externally mounted, uh, easy to get to, hydraulic manifolds, hydraulic cooler right here. Yeah. So you can wash out the hydraulic cooler. Electrical J-Box. So everything is, is all neat and tidy. What's right? Well, that's a regulator. That's for the end slides. For the end slides? Yep. Can we change our thing now for, yeah. Yeah, don't you have to, yeah, no, not on that one. Those are done inside on the PLC. Yep. Yeah, digital. So that's what these are for. Okay. So those are your main broom pressure regulators. This one regulates the pressure to your end slides. So you don't have the full 70 pounds of the end slide dragging on the ground, right? Yeah. So you can put, say, 10 PSI in that, holds 10 PSI on this cable here. Yep. Takes the weight of the end slide off the ground. So there's only 10 grease points on this whole truck. You want, you want to leave that no. open? No, you're good. Okay. Only 10 grease points on this whole truck. So you have upper elevator bearings is two, lower elevator bearings is two, main broom bearings is two, gutter broom main pivot that tilts the motor, right? That's two, PTO shaft, yep. This one, because it's a stainless steel hopper, it comes with stainless steel hinge tubes and a stainless steel pin, so that's not greasable. You can see that all the hydraulic lines are all nice and tidy. They're mounted properly. Um, we use as few zip ties as we possibly can. We don't use tie bars. Uh, it's all, everything is bolt and P-clamped. Yep. So you can see, I mean, even down to the wiring, everything is secured with a P-clamp. They don't break, they don't fail after a year, two years like zip ties do, right? And the only place that we use zip ties is maybe in between just to make it a little bit more tidy. But all of those could break and your wires are gonna be in the same spot, right? Yep. So high grade stuff, high grade materials like Parker. So Parker pneumatic cylinders on this thing. Um, again, the best of the best for everything. Cameras. Yep, full four camera system. So we have a camera on each fender. We got a camera inside of the hopper so you can see the, the material. You can also see the elevator. And we got a backup camera. Yep. Uh, Parker hydraulic motors too. Um, 
obviously the best room consumables, 14 flight elevator, 60 inch width, poly flights, uh, gigantic 48 inch toolbox. So 24, 24, 48. Oh, with our, uh, or, sorry, let me correct myself there. 18, 18, 48. Clear light, clear lens package on the aero board and the tail lights, the marker lights. That's just another option, you know. Fill hose, pressure washer, 3,000 PSI, four and a half gallons a minute on the pressure washer. And actually, I don't think anybody told you guys this, but uh, I don't want to hit you at the door. You guys got the very first manifold that has a built-in uh, valve for the pressure washer on it. So, so you can turn instead of, yeah, so it's all done from the PLC. So prior to that, it was a handle. Handle, but now 300 gallon turn, water tank from there yeah put correct it right yeah it was done that way before but then we had a diverter valve so we uh, integrated them into the manifold now at this point 300 gallon water tank dual electric 12 volt water pumps uh, two and a half gallon a minute 5.3 gallon a minute so we don't use all that oh yeah self priming yeah all that good stuff yep they can run them dry um fill it back up and yeah no problem go and pour right out of it again. correct yep but yeah, I mean, really the point behind it was everything's out in the open, right? Yeah. So water yeah. valves, water pumps, yeah. hoses, everything is out in the open and it's accessible, but it's still, you know, there's not stuff hanging all over it, right? Everything is thawed out. Uh, water filter right there is what you just touched. Yep. Clean it out every once in a while. Yep, exactly. Just so, like the mill. Yep. Same thing. Correct. Right. Yeah. Winterizing, same shit. Dump yeah. some RV, marine RV. Right. Yep. Okay. Right. Yeah. Five yard hopper, stainless steel hopper on this one again, like I had said. Um, so a hopper door and the lower section of the hopper stainless steel on this. The hopper top is just mild steel because you don't carry material in that. So he's gonna raise it up. Like that. Room and shovel holder. <laughs> Room and shovel holder. So this right here is the big reason why we bought this thing. Well, watch how high this goes. This could load any truck. What he's doing right now is he's airing the truck up. It's been sitting here for quite a while, so he's airing the truck up. He's gonna engage the PTO on it. And then from there, as soon as he engages the PTO, he's gonna put it into broom control mode. Door, right? Nope, that's fine. <clears throat> put it into broom control mode, which he just did right there. That automatically drops the air. And then you just pull the joystick up. Elevator comes back automatically. Hopper raises automatically. One and a half foot. The hold my beer moment. <laughs> Don't say that, Matty. You might uh, uh, get some uh, <laughs> uh, back backlash for that one. Last time you said hold my beer, it didn't impress anybody. You know, so. <laughs> we got them four million views, though, baby. We're going to put the safety bar on the lift mast while the hopper is up in the air and the lift is up in the air because we're going to be getting inside of there. We want to make sure that obviously we practice uh, as safe a measure as that we can. So, yeah, five yard hopper, usable capacity, seven yard total, um, five yard meaning water level capacity. Again, the elevator 60 inch width, 14 flights, uh, very high torque motor on that. Uh, triple hydraulic pumps inside the frame. So what we do there is we run the elevator off of one hydraulic pump, the gutter brooms off another hydraulic pump. So gutter brooms would be the front, elevator is the center, and then the rear is just the main broom motor. So each pump has its own individual major function. So that way you're not sharing a pump for all those functions. So then this gives you a really good idea of how we set up the hydraulic manifolds and hydraulic lines and all that good stuff. So all right there in the open. Easily accessible, it's easy to clean, it's easy to maintain. Simple. If you get a, a leak, you can get in there and tighten it and change a hose out easy, right? Yep. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. all standard hoses. Female JIC hoses. So they're not O-ring face, O-ring boss, nothing like that. It's just simple standard stuff, stuff that you can find any place. So will these are operated in and out and up and down by air and they spin hydraulically? Correct. Yep. 
Yeah, so a three-stage cylinder for in and out, and then up and down is, a, is the, the airbag there, and then, yeah, the rotation is hydraulic. And the rotation is yep. hydraulic. Yep, Parker hydraulic motor. And how so. wide is it, once you, well, you're all the way open in, in the back, how wide a pass do you sweep in one shot? With the new three, uh, the three position is like 170 inches or something ridiculous like that. Really? Yeah, they're very wide. Really? So, but you wouldn't that's almost technically two, seventy making a twelve foot pass. You wouldn't technically be sweeping in that, right? That's, that's like extra wide on both gutter rooms, and really what that's made for is to get like in between cones, stuff like that, and then pull it back in, right? So like ten and a half foot would be what you would standard be sweeping at. And then you could pick up at the same time at ten and a half Correct. feet. Yep. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Got so it. basically, about a foot outside the rear tire is where your standard sweep mode is going to be. And you're telling about the. the yeah, center divider. Center divider. Yeah, so just a standard center divider down there. That keeps the material from kicking across. So while the gutter brooms are sweeping in, so it pushes it, it to the middle and, and it keeps yeah. it to the breadth to the Explain back. Explain that to me again. So that center divider. Yeah. While the gutter brooms are sweeping, so yep. they're pulling material from the outside and sweeping it into the inside. Instead of throwing mm -hmm. it across that's the that side. Oh, oh, it hits oh, it, it, it makes a nice down, so it makes it a wind throw row. The other side. It makes a wind Got row it. so that the rear brook can scoop it. Oh yeah, you didn't give that a thought. Yep. Yep, and that's rubber, right? Correct. Yep. Oh, yeah, but you can kind of see here too. So hydraulic hoses, how we mount them, P clamps, yep. hydraulic hose clamps, yeah, it's yep. on chain, so it won't move. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll, it'll yep. move around. Stuff that's going to last forever. And that center divider won't, you know, you go over a structure. You <laughs> yeah, the rubber just folds out of the way. It's just single ply. So, yep, simple stuff. Beautiful work, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah. So here we have our touch screen system here. So screens fired up gives you a main operating screen right here kind of the basics everything that you're going to need if you're just operating this thing on a day-to-day -day basis it does go more and more in depth uh, as you want to program this maybe change hydraulic speeds um, change pressures things like that so you can get further and further into depth but main operating screen is what you're going to see on the day-to-day -day. very simple turn on the pto push the joystick down so pto buttons there you hit the joystick down one time and that starts sweeping so we drop the main broom gutter brooms Get the elevator rotating, set the elevator down on the ground, all that good stuff, and you're off. Cool. Very simple. Nice. Nice.